Hello, it's August 2nd. It's a Monday. We're into August now. The Feast of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary is this month. As we look on the calendar, August 1st was our first Sunday of the month. And the third one will be the Feast of the Assumption. You see it there on the 15th. This is one of those months that has five Sundays in it. So as we get to the second, today, Monday, I'd just like to ask you, well, after doing this for just so many months and through the whole pandemic, whether you'd like me to continue to do this program or not. Uh, I am uh, pleased to do it, but I need to know enough people are watching and want me to continue. Uh, you can email me at frjberry at resurrectionadw.org, all lowercase letters, frjbarry at resurrection1s2rs, resurrectionadw.org. So on this Monday of 18th week of Ordinary Time, we pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the Gospel, we go to Matthew today. It's a kind of a sad story. When Jesus heard of the death of John the Baptist, he withdrew in a boat to a deter deserted place by himself. The crowds heard of this and followed him on foot from their towns. When it was evening, the disciples approached him and said, This is a deserted place. It's already late. Dismiss the crowd so that they can go to their villages and buy food for themselves. He said to them, There is no need for them to go away. Give them some food yourselves. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, you can hear things getting set up for a miracle when he asks them to get the food. There isn't any food, very little food in this deserted spot. <clears throat> We're going to hear of the miracle. The miracle of the loaves and the fishes, which is a gospel that we proclaimed not so long ago. Uh, it was a Sunday gospel. Just from a different perspective, different evangelist from Mark. So, well, I guess the surprising thing of this miracle is that Jesus had to be very down. He had heard of the death of John the Baptist. You would think that he would really not want to be bothered by anybody or do any ministry, but just mourn. And he was intending to just go off by himself. It says he did. But the people kept pursuing him the next thing you know, there's a large crowd up there on the mountaintop. Hey, we are going to find out in tomorrow's uh, episode in John 6 that Jesus does take some time out. He does go up the mountain there and prays alone the next night. Alone the next night. And he sends his apostles out in the boat in Galilee and they go ahead. And we'll find out what happens next 